Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, so students, in today's practical, we are going to discuss the histological feature of circulatory system in which we will study the the features, microscopic features of artery and vein uh, along with the cardiac muscles. So let's uh, start. Uh, we all know, as you all know, that uh, the, the circulatory system or the vessels, blood vessels, they have a basic uh, structure composed, uh, consisting of uh, three layers uh, if we go from in to out. So this is a diagrammatic picture which is showing the three layers of the uh, vessels. Now this is the lumen. If we go from inside to out, we will see that there are three layers. Number one is the tunica intima and then from uh, in the middle layer is known as the tunica media and uh, the outermost layer is the tunica adventitia. So in tunica media we uh, see the endothelium, then the subendothelial layer which consists of the uh, uh, collagen and the collagen and uh, the elastic fiber, the connective tissue and uh, then there is internal elastic lamina which separate the intima from the media. Uh, in the media there is presence of smooth muscle fibers as well as the elastic fibers and then the media is separated from the adventitia by the, uh, the external elastic lamina and finally there is the outermost layer adventitia which is consisting of the collagen fibers and uh, there are uh, small vessels which supply which uh, supply blood to the to the vessel itself and they are known as vasa visorum so vasa visorum means vessels of the vessels now this is a picture which is taken from the slide of a vessel uh, prepared uh, using the dye uh, that is HNE stain and uh, it is placed under the microscope so this appear uh, it appears like this so this is a lumen which is filled with blood and from lumen we will go uh, from in to out so the first layer you can see is the tunica intima and then the middle layer is the tunica media and here we can see the outer layer which is the tunica adventitia Now the arteries uh, are uh, divided into three types depending upon the size. Number one is the larger arteries which are known as the elastic arteries. Then there are the medium sized arteries which are known as muscular arteries and the smaller arteri arteries which are known as arterioles. Now we will see the histological features of the elastic artery and the muscular arteries and we will compare the features what is the difference between the two. So the coming to the elastic arteries, uh, the elastic arteries are the larger arteries which conduct blood from the the heart and aorta and its branches are the example. Now the if we see the histological feature, it has got the same three basic layers which we have discussed just discussed now starting from the tunica intima there is endothelium and what is endothelium it is the layer of simple squamous epithelium when it is lined within the blood vessel it is known as the endothelium then the subendothelial layer which consisting of connected tissue con consisting of collagen and elastic fiber and internal elastic lamina now the difference is here uh, in uh, the internal elastic lamina that in the elastic arteries uh, we cannot find the internal elastic la lamina it is difficult to find because of the presence of abundance elastic tissue in the media then the tunica media in the tunica media of the elastic artery there are abundant of elastic fibers uh, and uh, the smooth muscle fibers are comparatively less as compared to the elastic fibers and uh, we cannot appreciate the external elastic lamina so uh, the and uh, uh, coming to the tunica adventitia it is quite thin and uh, composed of collagen fibers and has the vasa visorum so the uh, in a nutshell we can say that in the elastic arteries the ex internal and external elastic lamina are difficult to identify and tunica media is richly filled with the elastic fibers and adventitia is quite thin
Now this is a picture which is taken from a slide of elastic artery uh, and it appears like this under the microscope. So uh, the this is starting from the first layer, this is the tunica uh, intima and it consists of the uh, endothelium, the connective tissue, subendothelial layer, connective tissue and we cannot uh, appreciate or we, th there is very thin line of internal elastic lamina. Uh, then the, the middle layer if we see it is quite thick and um, it is richly filled with the, the elastic fibers. So these are the elastic fibers. Interspersed between the elastic fibers are the smooth muscle fibers. And uh, then moving on to the outer layer, this is the tunica adventitia, which is quite thin and has got the vasa visorum. So the po points of identification, if we see under the microscope, uh, what points will help us to identify that this is the elastic fiber. So uh, there is, if we talk about from the uh, uh, internal and elastic lamina, they are not prominent. And in the tunica media, there are 40 to around 40 to 60 concentrically arranged layer of elastic fibers present in the tunica media. So that was the elastic artery. Now coming to the muscular artery, uh, we'll uh, see uh, the three basic layers and we will uh, identify uh, upon the features of those three layers. So starting from tunica intima, it has endothelium and then the sub subendothelial layer. Now the uh, uh, differentiating feature is internal elastic lamina. In the muscular artery, this internal elastic lamina is very prominent and there is thick sheet of elastin. It is in the form of corrugated surface. Uh, then there is tunica media. Now the tunica media is also very prominent, thick layer, but here the majority of the, uh, the uh, muscle fiber, the fibers are present are the smooth muscle fiber instead of the elastic fiber. So elastic fiber are, uh, interposed between them but it is richly filled with the smooth muscle fibers and then the external elastic lamina it is also prominent it can be seen at the junction of media and adventitia coming to the tunic adventitia it is thick formed of collagen fibers and then also the vasa visora so let's see the uh, picture uh, this is a picture of a slide uh, taken uh, of the muscular artery under the microscope it appears like this it is composed of tunica intima the endothelium the subendothelial layer and if you see very prominent uh, this wavy like uh, structure it is known as the internal elastic lamina which is quite prominent in the muscular artery and if we see the tunica media it has uh, smooth muscle fibers in it instead of the elastic fibers. Elastic fibers are interposed between them. Moving towards the outer layer, tunica adventitia, it is again con connective tissue and uh, uh, there is connective tissue and there are vasa visorum. So let's see the points of identification. Uh, the points of identification are that there are series of up to 40 circularly arranged smooth muscle cells present in abundant in tunica media. So uh, whenever there is uh, smooth muscles present in the tunica media and less extra the elastic uh, fibers, so uh, this point will help us to, uh, to uh, say that this is the, um, the muscular artery. And uh, the coming to the internal elastic lamina, it is and external elastic lamina. These are very prominent. Internal elastic lamina is present in in the form of wavy fold, as we can see in this picture. Now this is the slide which is showing comparison between the two arteries, the elastic artery and the muscular artery. Now if we see from the first layer, in this is the tunica intima. And here we can see this is the tunica intima and uh, if we see the, these wavy pa uh, parts these are the internal elastic lamina which we can can't appreciate in the elastic artery slide but if we come coming to the tunica media if we see here it is quite thick richly filled with the elastic fiber whereas here there are smooth muscle fibers and in between them is the uh, the elastic fibers 
Then the tunica adventitia, it is quite thin. Tunica adventitia of muscular artery is comparatively thick. So these features will help us to differentiate between the elastic artery and the muscular artery. The first we will see tunica media and uh, if there are a lot of elastic artery elastic fibers it is the elastic artery and we will see the internal and elast external elastic lamina if the external elastic and internal elastic lamina they are prominent then this is the muscular artery now coming to the veins uh, talking about uh, the three basic layers it has the same uh, basic uh, structure tunica intima media and adventitia intima is endothelium has got endothelium subendothelial layer and internal elastic lamina again uh, it may be absent or thin tunica media is thin and consisting of smooth muscle fiber and collagen fiber and external elastic lamina is absent tunica adventitia is the thickest of all the three layers and it has uh, uh, longitudinally running collagen fibers and elastic fibers and their bundle of smooth muscles and vasa visora so let's see the slide of the vein it appears uh, when stained with hne stain it appears like this under the microscope so this is the lumen which is large and irregular and if we go from to the first layer tunica intima we cannot uh, appreciate the internal elastic lamina right and then the tunica media which is around which is very not very much thick as compared to the arteries and uh, around three uh, around 20 layers of uh, smooth muscles and elastic fibers are present and then if we see this is the tunica adventitia and if we compare tunica adventitia with the these two layers it is quite thick it's very thickened comparatively and we can see that it is filled with the smooth muscle fibers there are vasa visorum in it so this uh, these points helps us to identify the the vein under the microscope points of identification it has got large irregular lumen but walls are comparatively thinner tunica adventitia is the thickest coat media is thin and the laminas the internal and elastic and external elastic laminas they are not appreciable or may be absent so this is a picture which is showing comparison between the 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 artery and the vein if we see uh, compare these two structures we see that uh, the lumen of the artery is small and quite regular the lumen of the vein is large and irregular tunica intima we can see the internal elastic lamina we cannot see internal elastic lamina in the veins if we see this the tunica media it is quite thickest in case of uh, elastic artery it is richly filled with elastic fiber in case of muscular artery it is richly filled with the smooth muscle fibers uh, then the tunica adventitia it is uh, uh, this tunica adventitia if we compare with the tunica adventitia of the vein it is the adventitia of vein is quite thick so these are the uh, differentiating points uh, uh, between the artery and the vein now coming to the cardiac muscle now cardiac muscles are involuntary muscles and are striated muscles they are found in myocardium of the heart and uh, they are cylindrical in shape branching they show branching pattern and between the muscle fibers are present the junction uh, cell junction called as intercalated disc which is a distinguishing feature of the cardiac muscles it helps us to differentiate from the other two smooth mus uh, two muscles that is the skeletal muscle and the smooth muscle so this is a diagrammatic picture which is showing that the cardiac muscles it, they are cylindrical in shape and short uh, branching pattern and uh, they are striated in appearance due to the presence of pectin and myosin filament and we can see uh, th there is a central centrally placed nucleus sometimes the, there is uh, in the muscle fiber binucleated uh, fibers are also seen and uh, the we see that there are intercalated disc 
this is a picture uh, of the um, cardiac muscle under it appears uh, like this under the microscope this is the longitudinal section and it is the transverse section we'll focus on the longitudinal uh, section uh, we can see that the, there is alternating uh, dark and light light pattern and uh, we can see that there are central nucleus and here we can see the fiber which is showing the binuclear uh, and in between them there is presence of the intercalated disc so these uh, features helps us to identify the slide cardiac muscles slide so points of identification would be short cylindrical branch fibers nucleus is oval and centrally placed intercalated discs are present and these would be the points of identification of cardiac muscle this is all about the uh, presentation about the circulatory system uh, the microscopic feature now we will see the slides uh, of all these the artery and the vein and the cardiac muscle under the microscope so let's see so uh, students let's see the um, slide of uh, the circulatory system under the microscope we'll start with the the slide of this the artery first and as we all know that it consists of three layers the from inner to outer this is the lumen and from lumen if we go inside the first layer is tunica intima and in tunica intima the we can see the endothelium first and uh, just below the endothelium this wavy line is the internal elastic lamina and uh, below the internal elastic lamina this is the tunica media this whole layer this is around uh, 42 uh, concentric layer thickness of the tunica media and we all know that tunica media it is composed of the smooth muscles and the elastic fibers in case of the um, elastic artery there are much more elastic fibers as compared to the smooth muscle but here we can see that there is the smooth muscles uh, in majority this is the muscle smooth muscle fiber and if we see the, these wavy stripes these are the elastic fibers so here the smooth muscles are more and uh, uh, internal elastic lamina is prominent external elastic lamina is prominent and then there is the tunica adventitia so this makes us uh, that this is the slide of muscular artery we know that muscle in the muscular artery in the uh, the middle layer uh, that is the tunica media it is composed of uh, there are smooth muscles present in abundant as compared to the elastic fibers and uh, the uh, internal elastic lamina and the external elastic lamina they are also prominent in the uh, in muscular artery so this is the slide of muscular artery okay so students um, now let's see the the other artery which is the elastic artery and the elastic artery is the larger artery are the larger arteries the, that is also known as conducting arteries because they are uh, they conduct blood from the the aorta from the heart and uh, that the example of the elastic arteries are the aorta and uh, their branches so if we see these are the the three layers we can see the three layers of the elastic artery and uh, the distinguishing feature of elastic artery from the muscular artery that the, there is tunica intima with the endothelium but we cannot appreciate the internal internal elastic lamina and if we see the medial middle layer that is tunica media it is richly filled with the elastic fiber as compared to the smooth muscle fibers so if we see these wavy bands these are the elastic fibers as we know that uh, the elastic arteries they have to uh, conduct blood and uh, during systole uh, the majority of the elastic fibers are present in the this artery is because during systole they have to undergo 
of contraction and then the elastic recoil property of these elastic fibers uh, they help them uh, during the the uh, diastole or the relaxation phase uh, to relax the arteries so uh, that's why the tunica media it is richly filled with the elastic arteries then the last one is the tuni uh, tunica adventitia uh, the tunica media is separated from adventitia by uh, the external elastic lamina but if we see this picture we cannot appreciate the external al elastic la uh, lamina it is uh, all uh, very thin or maybe absent so we cannot appreciate in this slide um, so this uh, makes that uh, the slide is of elastic artery so here uh, now we this is a magnified picture of the elastic artery uh, the, the, if we focus on the the middle layer tunica media we can see that it is richly filled with the elastic fibers and uh, we cannot appreciate the internal elastic lamina which separates the tunica uh, intima from the media uh, so this uh, these are the identifying features of the elastic artery so that it has it does not have uh, internal elastic lamina and uh, in the tunica media it has a lot of elastic fibers as compared to the smooth muscle fibers and if we move on to the uh, further move on to the exterior we cannot appreciate the external elastic lamina too so uh, these are the identifying points of the elastic artery now if we see this slide under the microscope we can see this is the slide of uh, vein so starting the basic principle remains same for the the whole circulatory system that it is conduct of three layers so we'll start from the first layer this is the lumen from inner to outer if we go the first layer is tunica intima so tunica intima again it consists of the endothelium uh, the simple squamous epithelium then there is internal elastic lamina if we see in this uh, slide we cannot appreciate internal elastic lamina and uh, uh, then if we go down in uh, this there is tunica media now uh, this tunica media it is also not as much thick as we uh, saw in the previous slides and uh, there is no uh, we cannot appreciate external elastic lamina but if we see the tunica adventitia it is very thick so uh, this uh, slide so these features make that this is the slide of a vein so if we compare the slide of a vein with the artery we uh, the arteries are relatively thin walled and uh, their lumen which is the large and irregular and uh, there is no internal uh, el uh, elastic lamina the tunica media it is uh, filled with the uh, smooth muscle fibers and elastic fibers uh, but and uh, collagen fibers too and if we compare the thickness of the media with the adventitia we can uh, we can see that the uh, the adventitia is more thick as compared to the the media so these are the identifying features of a vein that uh, it has a larger lumen irregular lumen the the it does not have internal elastic lamina we cannot appreciate uh, then the media it is uh, thin and uh, the adventitia is thick as compared to the media so these are the so this is the slide of a vein okay so now uh, students let's see this uh, slide um, this is the slide of uh, cardiac muscle we can see we know that cardiac muscle they are uh, striated muscle if we see this these uh, they show branching pattern and they are cylindrical uh, fibers and uh, the they are they show striation because of the arrangement of uh, actin and myosin filament and um, the main feature of the the uh, cardiac muscle is that they have the intercalated junctions so if we see over here uh, these intercalated disc these are basically uh, the junctional complexes that are present uh, uh, 
just uh, around the two ends of the uh, around the end of uh, the uh, two cylindrical uh, cardiac muscle fibers and uh, so these are the features of the, the, the this is the intercalated junctions so these are the features of the cardiac muscle so this suggests the so the uh, the points of identification are that the muscles they show cr cross the stri striation pattern with a centrally placed nucleus and uh, the, the typical feature is the intercalated junctions. Uh, so these suggest that this is the slide of the uh, cardiac muscle fiber.